Hello everyone, in this 15th lesson of how to make your first game in Unity we are going to add in some level completion mechanics as well as containing our level with a couple of walls. Before we get into it remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload, it really helps me out. Now on with the show. So as I explained last lesson I would like it to be at a point where we have collected say the five coins in the first level and then we complete it. Now there are a couple of things that we're going to have to go through to kind of work with these coins because at the moment when we respawn we still keep the coins that we've collected. So firstly let's start by creating a script which is going to be the script which will complete the level for us. So let's right click create C sharp script and we'll have this as level complete. And let's open that up in Visual Studio. So there's a couple of things that we are going to want to deal with here. And I think in some ways it kind of resonates with the script that we've written in the past couple of lessons. So this script will ultimately take us to the next level. So we are going to need using Unity Engine dot scene management. Now although we're not going to go to another scene with this script, at least in this lesson, we're kind of future proofing here. So next thing we need to do is we need a variable to keep track of how many coins we've collected from that global coin script because that way at least we are kind of updating and keeping everything inside one script. So let's have the variable named as, in fact, we'll have it as an integer first. Uh, we'll have this as imported coins, semicolon, which means that inside the update method, we now say imported coins equals global coins dot coin count, semicolon. And now we're going to have an if statement. So if, and in brackets, imported coins equals five, then open curly bracket and do the following. So I want to wait for a fraction of a second after we've collected that coin, although I don't necessarily think we have to. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll do both. We'll do it instantly and then we'll wait for a fraction of a second and then you can choose which method you're comfortable implementing. So let's start by having no delay, no waiting at all. And we'll write that as we go along. So if the imported coins is five, then what we want to happen is pretty much the same thing as when we respawn, obviously, except we're going to go to a different scene. So what we can do is we can go to respawning, not respawning, the obstacle collide, sorry. And we can copy those three lines again, which are the variables, and place them in here. And we can get rid of the annotations and start. I don't think we need those. Uh, let's change obstacle text to completed text. I keep knocking my uh, little thing on my desk here. Um, so completed text is going to be say level complete with some exclamation marks. In fact, let's save the script and let's actually make that now. You'll always find yourself going back and forth with Unity into the engine, into scripting, into engine, into scripting. You'll do it quite a lot. So don't worry if you know you seem a bit confused. The fact we'll go in and out, in and out. So let's take the hurt text that we did, duplicate it, and we'll change it to say level complete with some exclamation marks for good measure. And we'll have this as complete text. And let's bring that above the fade in. And we will go back into the script because essentially we now have everything we need here. We've got the text, we've got the fade out and we've got the player. So that means that we can on five coins say complete text dot set, not send message, set active equals, not equals, in brackets, true, as we're setting it active, we're not telling it, um, fade out 
dot set active also true. And rather than type, let's copy this line of code here. Player dot get component dot enabled false. That is from the obstacle collide script. So we've essentially done exactly the same kind of thing there. So we've collected five. Awesome. So what we'll do is let's try out this simple uh, script as it stands now. Let's head back into Unity. And we'll attach this script to our globals object. And let's attach those three variables. So completed text goes in there. Fade out goes into there. And player obviously is our player. So let's press play. And we just now need to collect those five coins. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Actually, do you know what I think? I think that should be okay. So level complete again. Now, what we need to do here is we need to add in a um, coroutine. So I enumerator and we'll say level completed. Open close bracket, open early bracket. And we will yield return new wait for seconds and we'll wait for the three seconds that we usually do and then the next line of code would be moving to another scene obviously we don't have that next scene yet so we're going to have to come back to this script later on when we do have the scene so we need to put here start coroutine and in brackets level completed over close bracket close bracket semicolon and i'm going to save that script now I did say that we would work out if we are going to wait a couple of seconds or rather a fraction of a second after we've collected that coin and to do that all we need to do is take everything above the coroutine so those three lines cut them out of the if statement and start the coroutine right there and then let's say yield return new wait for seconds and in brackets that fraction of a second whatever you want it to be so let's say 0.2 f semicolon <clears throat> and then those three lines of code and save so now we've waited for well, in this case a fifth of a second before we start that process of moving on to the next level so you should see a very slight delay after we've collected that fifth coin There we go. So again, it's entirely up to you which one you want to go for. So finally, let's encompass our level with some walls, just so things don't go outside the boundaries. And to be honest, we can do that in a real quick and easy way. And you don't necessarily have to once again. It's, it's entirely up to you how you create your world. So I'm going to go on the ground, hold control, press D to duplicate. I'm going to put the scale to 20 on the Y and 1 on the X. I'm just going to bring it to about there and rename that as wall. I'm going to duplicate that once again and bring it over the other side and let's keep that as wall as well. I'm going to duplicate ground once again, set it to 20 and 1 on the Z and take the wall towards the back and rename that as wall. So now, if we press play, it looks like it is all inside this little world. And as always, it's, you know, it's entirely up to you how you want to deal with this. You can miss this out completely if you want to. And see the cubes? They just won't go outside the boundaries. So you could effectively have this all the way down here. You could have the ground all the way down here. It's, it's really entirely up to you. you don't, have to do what I do but eh, your game so yeah I'm quite happy with how that looks now so next tutorial is going to be all about sorting those coins out so as we restrict the amount we can get for example when we reset our game we still have those coins so we're going to sort that bug out and then we're going to look at pausing the game so until the next video Thank you very much for watching.